To create an image from a disk or partition, you will begin in one of two ways. You may click on Tools on the toolbar and select Disk to Image. You may also double click Disk to Image within the Disk Operations area. There are three backup options. You may do a full backup. You may select an incremental backup which will back up all data since the last full backup or the last incremental backup, and then finally a differential backup, which will back up all data since the last full backup, but is not incremental, then click Next. This window will show you all the drivers and partitions. If you have a driver partition that is connected to the device and is not on the list, you may click on the Refresh button. This window will show us partition and disk names, flags such as primary and active, the disk and partition capacity, disk and partition used space, and other important information. Select the source for your image and click Next. You may choose to back up onto a CD or DVD, or onto your local device or a connected device. To find a connected device, click Browse, navigate to your desired device, and click Open. At this time, you may rename your backup image. When you are finished, click Next. You have three compression options. You may select No Compression, which produces the largest file size but is the quickest to run, Normal Compression, which is a compromise of no compression and high compression, or you may select high compression, which will produce the smallest file size but takes the longest to complete. You may choose to split your image into multiple sections. To do so, click Fixed Size, and from the drop down menu, select the maximum file size allowed. For example, if you have a 7 GB image to burn and you wish to do it onto two DVDs, select 4 GB DVDs from the drop down and this will separate your image onto two DVDs. You may password protect your image. To do that, place a password and confirm that password in the password protection area. You may also use this area to encrypt your data. Providing an image description can be important. However, you should know that the image description is always available with or without the image password. When you are finished, click Next. At this point, you may select to create another image or work only with the image you have started. To continue, click Next. Finally, you have a confirmation window. Review your settings and then at the bottom you have three options. You may get a verification window once the process is complete. You may shut down the computer automatically once the process is complete. You can minimize active disk to the tray once the process has begun and use the computer normally. The speed of your device plus the amount of data to be saved will determine the amount of time needed to complete this task. At the verification window, click Finish. Your image files can be found at the selected destination. Here, you will find a .adi file, a log file, and an XML document. If you open the log file, you will see it is a list of completed operations. You will know your image has been created properly if the bottom line says, Image Successfully Created. This is how you turn a disk or partition into a backup image using Active Disk Image.